Agency, Huckle. Me too. It's fun watching him help people plan their trips and buy their tickets. And here are your plane tickets, Francis. Boys, while I'm busy with Ms. Bacon, could you please answer the telephone? Catch! <laughs> Thanks, Lolly. Busy Town Travel Agency, Huckle Cat speaking. Yes. Okay. Terrific. I'll let him know. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. Enjoy your trip, and give my best to Mr. Bacon. Thank you, John. Dad, the manager of the new Grand Hotel called, and she wants us to stay there so you can rate the hotel. What do you mean, rate it? To test it and make sure it's good enough for Dad to recommend to his customers. Can we go, Dad? You bet. I can't wait to see how really grand the Grand Hotel is. Welcome to Busy Town's Grand Hotel. I'm Sophia, your bell porter. Thank you. Wow! The Grand Hotel really is grand. I'll get those for you, sir. Excellent. Prompt service. After you, sir. Right this way, please. I've never gone through a round door before. <laughs> wow! Wow! Ow! Oh, I must have sprained my ankle. Oh, my, Mr. Cat, I'm so sorry. Please, Sophia, you must be more careful with our guests. <laughs> She's new on the job. It's not Sophia's fault. I just tripped. You can lean on me. Oh, thanks, Loli. Sophia, please take the cat family to one of the grand suites. <laughs> this is our grandest suite. Sweet, huh? I just hope these apples are. I don't know how I'm going to review the hotel if I can't walk around. Maybe we can test out the hotel for you, Dad. Mmm, good idea. I'm already testing out the bed. I think it's a fine idea, dear. You can give the kids your hotel review form. Okay, here's my clipboard, Huckle. You just check everything off. Ow! And while the children are busy, we'll just relax in this lovely room and take care of that ankle of yours. Shall we begin the grand tour? Sure. Let's get to work. Sally, how would you rate the bed? Bouncy. Bouncy's not on your list. But excellent is. You're right. These beds are excellent. <laughs> Sophia, can we start by testing the swimming pool? Maybe we should do that last. If we do that now, you'll never want to see everything else. The laundry room is the busiest place in the hotel. Oh! Here, Margie. I'll help you. 
Phew! <laughs> Sophia! What's the meaning of this? I, um... We'll talk about this incident later. I'm afraid the manager doesn't think I'm doing a very good job. But you're doing a grand job, Sophia. Lonely! Beat you to the top floor! On, On your mark, mark, get set, go! We're gonna win for sure! Hmm. Sophia, why aren't you looking after our guests, the cat family? But I... Uh... Yay, we won! Let's wait for Sophia over there so she can show us around. Miss Lion, I can explain everything. I'm too busy to talk about it right now. Please come by my office at the end of the day. Wow, Sophia's gonna get a promotion. Just look at this grand view. Lowly. Let's give the games room high points. <laughs> Good, because I'm sure not scoring any points at ping pong. Uh-oh. Playing on duty is not allowed. Go straight to my office. I want to have a word with you now. Gee, Ms. Lion, Sophia was just giving us the grand tour. We're giving the hotel a test for my dad's travel agency. Look. Oh, excellent. Dear me, I seem to have made a mistake, Sophia. I apologize. That's okay, Ms. Lion. Oh, this is wonderful, isn't oh, it? Oh, my. Oh, this looks delicious. Mm, mm. Yum. How's the ankle feeling today, Mr. Cat? Much better, thank you. Hello, I'm Thomas Trunk, the owner of the Busy Town Grand Hotel. I hope you enjoyed your stay, Mr. Cat. Very much. But I think the kids enjoyed it even more. Look at this excellent report. And the people who work here are so friendly. Especially Sophia. So I've been hearing. Since you've been doing such a great job, we would like to promote you to assistant manager. Th thank you. Now that's grand. Holy. <laughs> Imagine that! Thank you, Mr. TikTok, for letting our class visit your shop. Could anyone tell us why we need clocks? Clocks let everyone know what time it is. Early in the morning, clocks tell us the time, so we know when to get up and go to school. The alarm might make you jerk when it's time to go to work. Time to eat a healthy breakfast, that's the rule. Our clocks help us to know just when it's time to go so we can get to school or work and not be late. And then again at school, the clock is teacher's tool to really plan your day. A clock is great. And when the evening comes, we know when dinner's done because our clock will tell us when it's ready. A clock can help remind us, get our homework all behind us and tell us when it's time to go to bed. Whoa! Ben Huckle, can you tell us what time it is? Sure, Miss Honey. It's lunchtime. <laughs> this is Egypt, a country of ancient pharaohs. The Great Pyramids, the Sphinx, and the River Nile. That boat belongs to the Empress of Fazuli. She's on vacation with her many servants. Ali, fetch me my shawl, please. But uh, the shawl is there. You have only to reach. I am the Empress of Fazuli. I do not reach. My servants reach. And you, Ali, are my servant. You snapped, but... Uh, sir? Fetch the Empress's shard. <laughs> Tell me, servants, why do you walk as though you're hiding something? 
Uh, uh, well, we walk this way because we are very humble servants. <laughs> she fell for you. We carry the loot to the hiding place. Couscous here. Empress Fazoli, my dear friend. How are you? Your servants. Hmm. Tell me more. They act very strange, especially the very big one. Very big one? And the other servants, might they be four very small ones? Yes, but Couscous, how do you know that? Simple, I am a detective, and I know that Pepe Le Gangster and his dirty rats have escaped once again. Oh, Couscous. They will steal all my riches. What can I do? Nothing. Do not let them know that you and I know. I have a plan. Gee, we're running out of room, boss. And we still haven't robbed any food. All right. One more bundle and we will steal some food. Then we will leave the Empress with nothing. <laughs> Ali, servants. Yoo-hoo, servants. Come, let us serve the Empress. Mother! What a surprise! Hello, daughter. Uh, you call your excellency? This is your servant? He is so handsome. Uh, uh, ooh. <laughs> oh, shucks. <laughs> you wouldn't mind carrying my luggage aboard, would you, handsome servant? Handsome? Huh? Ali, are you all right? I do not like being a servant. <laughs> ah, thank you, handsome servant. My darling daughter, I have traveled all the way up the Nile to present you with this golden key. Meow! Shh! Ooh, ah, ah. It will unlock the treasure of the great people. The treasure of the Great Pyramid? Oh. 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 I shall give it to you tomorrow, for I am too tired to... <sighs> Ali, I am going for my afternoon tour of the galley. See that my mother is not disturbed. Now we will be really rich. <laughs> oh, boy! Let us get the golden key from around their neck. What about the loot in our cabin, boss? And what about the food, boss? Bah, forget it. Who needs all that stuff when we can have a pyramid full? But we're hungry, boss. Silence, you dirty rats. Now come. There is a pyramid to loot. Whee! Now for the rest of my plan. What's the Great Pyramid look like, boss? Like a pyramid. Pointy on the top, big on the bottom. But look, boss, there are so many of them. Which one of them is the Great Pyramid? Get your map to famous pyramids right here. You have a map to the Great Pyramid? Great Pyramid? Let's see here. The not-so-great pyramid, the so-so pyramid, the pretty good pyramid... Ah, here it is! The Great Pyramid! <laughs> we are gangsters, and we take what we want! <laughs> <laughs> we should trick him, boss! We must head for that little pointy thing over the hill. But why is it so little? It's supposed to be big! That is because the pyramid is covered with sand. This is just the teeny tiny tippity top. Whee! <laughs> it doesn't look so great to me, boss. This must be the not-so-great pyramid. Who cares, as long as it is filled with treasure? Treasure! Yay! Oh, Couscous, you are such a great detective. With such a great pyramid. And not such great gangsters. Oi, oi, oi! Au revoir, Pepe. 
Someday I hope that you and your dirty rats will learn not to steal. Monsieur Couscous, I believe it is nearly time for tea. Will you join me, please? Detective Couscous? He comes, he goes. To where? Who knows? That is why Couscous is the best detective in Egypt. Play it safe. Hello? My mother's busy right now. No, I can't write a message. I don't know how to write. When the phone rings and you answer it, here's what you do. Say hello and find out who the caller wants to talk to. If they ask for someone else who lives in your home, be polite, go tell them there's a caller on the phone. If the caller wants to speak with someone who's not at home, politely take a message when they get back, they will phone. If someone calls that you don't know and you're at home alone, just say they'll call you later, leave a message by the phone. Be polite when on the phone, don't talk too long. Someone may need to make a call, to keep them waiting would be wrong. So be polite, you know it's right when you're on the phone. Remember this when answering the phone. Oh, oh wait, Loli's here. Could you please write a message for Mom? Certainly. Let's go, everybody. There's shoveling to be done. The sooner we get out there and do it, the sooner it gets finished. Where's that cat family spirit? I guess they've gone shopping. Hi there, John. Now, would you look at that? A family that spends time together. That's what we should do. Won't Fiona and the kids be proud of my work? Did anyone even notice a certain something when you drove past me just now? Uh, uh... Oh, nice haircut, Dad. I did not get a haircut. I shoveled the driveway. Oh, <laughs> great job, Dad. Your move, Huckle. That looks like fun. Can I play? But we've already started, Dad. Hmm. I've got an idea, and it's even more fun than a board game. Let's all go out and build a snowman. Uh, well, Wait, no, I don't know. Not right now, not no. Man, Dad. Dad. <laughs> What's your father doing? Why? Maybe Dad's tired of being cooped up all day. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Hi there, John. We're going to the mountain ski. That's it. A family ski trip. It looks like your father's got an idea. Oh. Now, this will be a real family trip. A chance for all of us to do something together for a change. Dad? I know, Sally. Lately, we haven't been spending much time together as a family. Dad? Well, that's it. We're ready to go. Dad? What is it, Sally? I need to go to the bathroom. Ouch! These are too small. Those are my boots, Dad. They gave us one extra boot. No, that's mine. Ouch. These boots are too small. Those are my boots, Dad. I am Mr. Sitma, your ski instructor. Are you ready for your first ski lesson? My boots are still too small. Snug is good. These aren't snug. They're tight. Tight is even better. Let's go. Bend the knees. Follow me. I have not only won medals in skiing, but I am also a professional skater, luja, and world-class ice fishing champion. I was a pretty good skater in my own right. In fact, I was the first person ever to complete a triple and a half axle. 
Dad, don't you mean a triple axle? No, dear. Triple and a half. Your father landed on his head. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> now this is what family togetherness is all about. Whoops! <laughs> For someone who completed a triple and a half axle, skiing with one pole should be no problem. Right, Dad? Uh, yes. Now follow me and bend the knees. Whoa! Gotcha. Uh, that's it. Eyes front. Let's go. Very impressive, Mr. Cart. But the next time, let's try and stay together. Come on, Dad! Hi there, John. <sighs> we'll try it again. Now remember... I know. Bends the knees. Did your father disappear to this time? Here he comes! Down the ski jump ramp. Ah! And the knees! Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You win first prize! everyone, but I didn't come here to win any awards. I came here to spend some time with my family. That was great, Dad! It was? You were wonderful! I was? We're so proud of you, John. You are? Let's go for another jump. This time, I'll go with you. Uh. Let's go skiing! Let's go skating! Come on! I want to go sledding! What do you want to do? <sighs> You're absolutely right, John. There's nothing like a ski trip to bring a family together. John? Hmm? Bends the knees. <laughs> 